Well, hello again from Kingston on what's proving to be a sunny but rather windy Saturday. It's been a busy week on the crossing with a lot achieved and I'll tell you all about it in the update. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. Let's begin this week by remembering that while we've all been enjoying the spring sunshine, a night shift has been busy. On five nights a week, from 5 p.m., they work through dusk until three in the morning, typically quietly undertaking tasks that will give their colleagues a head start next day. Since we're already on the East End, let's look at the way in which Tomlinson spent much of the week preparing sidewalk areas, laying and compacting gravel to prepare the ground for Sousa Ready Mix to come in and pour concrete. However, before any concrete arrives, the forms that will contain it have to be skillfully and accurately placed. But before long, on a rather better day, the time finally arrives for the concrete truck to deliver and the shaping and finishing to be completed. With the very best results. As the week ended, the next round of framing was already underway. Work on the east abutment this week had a slow start, but finished in really good fashion. With the considerable assistance of the excavator, the team from Kiwit placed the drain pipe in the abutment and also began finishing the face of the structure. The East End had an unexpected visitor this week in the form of the Canadian Coast Guard. The West End this week has been anything but quiet. A very professional team from Bar Construction, working in a very confined space, has been making great progress with the installation of drains. They make excellent use of heavy machinery to assist them in their tasks. But manual preparations and adjustments still have their place readying concrete vaults to receive consolidating concrete is one of the tasks that benefits. And when the ready mix truck can't quite make it to the site, a handy excavator can always carry cargoes of concrete. With most of the drains in place, Barr's attention turned to creating a temporary roadway which required the initial removal of the existing surface. The sharper eyed amongst you will also notice that creating the roadway demanded the removal of the previously positioned works trailer. And in short order, with regular deliveries of gravel, the roadway quickly began to take shape. A 
As the week drew to a close, work continued and no doubt we'll see considerable progress next week. But as we finish this week with wildlife, let's spare a thought for those people on the night shift again. So there you have it. We're another week closer to completion and I'd really appreciate you thinking again about subscribing and encouraging your friends to do so. Thanks for being here. See you next week. Bye for now.